There's one thing every climbing gym needs, and it's not crazy good walls. But Urban Climb Blackburn do have them. It's not a mega hold library, but they do have that. Blackburn also has coffee machine, frog squat rests, A-level root setters creating totally radical moves, good music and lighting. Though none of them are what I'm talking about. I went in with preconceived ideas. I'd seen some photos, I'd heard the rumors, but honestly, I've been to so many climbing gyms over the last three years, they're all just iterations of each other. It's fun, I get psyched, but there's a sense of familiarity with it all. Walking through the doors for the first time, holy blow my socks off Blackburn, it left me dumbfounded. And I'm really not blowing smoke here. I've not walked into a climbing gym in Australia that left me feeling like this, ever. One came close once before, but it wasn't like this. The only gym globally that I can compare this to is the infamous Kletter Centrum in Innsbruck. Seeing that place for the first time made me totally recalibrate what a climbing gym could be. Uh, but it was also in Europe and it kind of had this intangibleness to it. But now we have that in Australia. It's here. Just to be clear here as well, this was not sponsored. Th this is all me. Urban have not asked me to make this video. This is my opinion and I wanted to make this because of everything that it made me feel when I was down there and I just wanted to share that. I had an incredible two days down in Melbourne, climbing until my skin was toasted, then taping up and climbing until everything was toasted. There's full-size 100% legit speed walls, a bouldering section that any gym would be psyched to have as their standalone, and wowee those lead walls. 17 meters high, with 35, 33, 32, this is proper world-class difficulty and quantity Australia has never seen. But it's not all about the high walls and high numbers. The top rope walls were just as awesome and the amount of people in there giving climbing a go for the first time with the biggest grins on their faces was truly something special. And while I was there, I climbed perhaps four of the best indoor routes I've ever been on in my life. This 30, which could only be made better if it were 500 meters off the deck in Yosemite. This 28, which made me feel like a kid climbing the door frames again. This 25 that was every bit the best of any of them. And a 22 that never made it onto an SD card. But gosh, it was good. What each of these nailed for me was a sense of depth and uh, intangible substance that I've rarely found on an indoor route before. Being on the wall just felt real. Urban have nailed that elusive balance of providing a space for an indoor climber and an outdoor climber to have an incredible session. Those two juxtaposed climbers were lit up inside of me, both of them feeling this overwhelming need to pull onto the walls. And this is the thing I feel every gym needs to do to be a success. They need to inspire and Urban Climb Blackburn totally did that for me. And I don't mean that in a buzzword way, I mean it in the truest sense of the word, right down in the pit of your soul. Honestly, I was borderline tearing up as I walked around the gym for the first time because it took me right back to the feeling that I had walking around Urban Climb West End for the first time in 2004. What was built then did everything to change the course of my life in the most beautiful way. The tears that were trying to burst through were there because I could imagine the next kid walking through those doors whose life was about to change as well. I don't know how they can screw some fiberglass and plastic onto plywood and make me want to cry for the potential incredible new life for someone I've never met. But they have, and that's pretty special. So if you ever find yourself in Melbourne, go check it out.